Hello guys, how are you all? How are you all? Good evening Agarwal. Aladita, good evening. Priyansh Sagar, good evening. So I hope all of you are the old students, right? So Bihari is asking, you already taught this class? Yes, Bihari, I have already taught this class. So actually, what are these classes? Let me tell you first of all. These classes are mainly intended for those students who are entering into MBBS. Okay. So previously, whatever classes I have taken, five or six classes, whatever I have taken, I have taken for the previous batch of 150 students. And now I'm going to take the classes for the fresh batch. Okay. So if you are all not from the fresh batch, then I will start continuing those topics. Previously, we have discussed about the fractures of upper limb and all, right? Uh, we stopped near the muscles. We did not discuss the muscles. So if you are all, if you are all okay with that, then I will start discussing the muscles. Okay. What do you say? Uh, how many of you are, uh, how many of you attended my previous classes and for how many of you, this is the first class you are attending. And by the way, yeah, for the new students, this is, my name is Dr. Krishna. So I'll be teaching you anatomy right uh, microbiology and also pediatrics but for the final year but for you anatomy and microbiology i'll be teaching but yes tell me okay danish one muscles sumaredi one muscles varun kashyap so all of you Right, so how many of you attended previous classes and how many of you are old? Most of the students here are old students. Few of them are fresh students. Okay, fun mode is telling majority of them attended. Okay, fine. Chalo. I'll start from the muscles, okay? Start from the, okay, let us, let us do like this guys, okay? There are new students here, okay? And uh, it is not necessarily that to understand the muscles, you have to know this part. Okay, the introduction part, the history and all. Okay, so I'll teach you this. I'll teach you this. For those of you who are new here, right, we'll take a separate session and I will teach you the history, right? But those of you who are old here, majority of them are old here. So I'll start teaching the muscles so that it would be easy for you. And I'll, I bet that even you'll understand those muscles also. Chalo, let's start, hai na? Don't worry, nothing to worry at all. Even if you didn't attend the previous classes, nothing is going to happen. So we shall discuss right now everything. Okay. I'll show you all the clinical aspects. And by the way, I'm telling you, you have to learn clinically. Again, after long back, I'm telling you, whatever you're studying, don't study it like a short answer question or long answer questions. When you go there, there are no short answers. There are no long answers. Only you have is multiple choice questions. Okay, and from day one onwards, you have to study everything clinically. You have to relate everything clinically. How do you relate everything clinically? I will teach you here. Okay, Chalo. So, by the way, uh, how, how many of you have already taken the admission? I mean, from where are you, all of you? So, in which universities have you already taken the admission, guys? Rova Baksh is from Saudi. Very good. Right. So, guys, all of you, all of you. Yes, yes, Agarwal. Agarwal, again, when I come there, these are, just, these are the classes just to keep you engaged and busy, right? Instead of, instead of wasting time in the home to make you busy. We are putting these classes and I'm going to come to ISM. I'm going to come to, come to Kagma. If you are in e school, I'm going to come to e school, right? I'm going to teach there. Okay. So don't worry. Again, we shall repeat all the things. Shallow. So we shall start discussing the muscles. Okay. We shall start discussing the muscles. Now, now guys, I want all of you to be proactive in the class. Okay. Proactive in the class. Now, Muscles are mainly divided into different types. Okay, stop commenting. Chalo, stop commenting. Muscles are mainly divided into different types. Okay, see this region, whatever you can see, this is called as a pectoral region, right? All the gym builders, you might know very well. 
This is called as a pectoral region. And on the back, you call it as muscles of the back. Okay. And next, what is this? Scapula. The muscles located here are called as muscles of scapula. And after that, you have got what is this? Shoulder. We will discuss the muscles of the shoulder. And this part is called as arm. We will discuss the muscles of the arm. And this part is called as forearm. We will discuss the muscles of the forearm. And finally, this part is called as hand. Okay. So, we shall discuss all these muscles. Thank you so much, uh, Surveen Kaur. Thank you so much. Kiev, by the way, it is a beautiful city. Right. So, what are the muscles we shall be discussing? We shall discuss the muscles of the back first. Okay. Then we shall discuss the muscles of scapula. I hope all of you are making down the notes, right? Next, we shall discuss muscles of the shoulder. Muscles of the shoulder. Then arm. Forearm. As well as hand. Okay, we shall discuss all of this. But first of all, we shall start discussing the muscles of the back. First, what I will do is that I will just write down the names of the muscles and then later on I will draw each and every muscle and I will teach you. Okay, so all of you are ready. Regarding the muscles of the back, we basically have the first muscle. What is the first muscle, guys? The first muscle which we have is trapezius. Okay. Now, even if you don't know trapezius, just look whatever I'm writing, I'll draw each and everything. Okay. After trapezius, on the back here, you have got a muscle called as latissimus dorsi. Okay. Latissimus dorsi. After latissimus dorsi, you have got a muscle in the form of a rhomboid shape. Okay. It is in the form of a rhomboid shape. It means the name of the muscle is rhomboid muscle rhomboid muscle okay and the final important thing is there is one more muscle called as levator scapula even if you can't remember these names nothing to worry at all just look whatever i am writing okay look whatever i am writing okay now coming to these rhomboid muscles guys there are two different types of rhomboid muscles one rhomboid muscle is large so i call it as rhomboid major Another rhomboid muscle is small, so I call it as rhomboid minor. Okay, so one I have is rhomboid major. Another one I have is rhomboid minor. Okay, till here you are clear, guys. All of you, jaldi batao. Till here, all of you are clear. Very good, very good. Now what we shall do is that we shall discuss all these muscles here. Now, guys, in this picture, what you can see in this picture you can see the back side of the skull, the back portion of the skull. Okay. In this back portion of the skull, you see this small protuberance that is coming down. This is called as external occipital protuberance. If you want all of you, you palpate here on the back. All of you palpate here on the back. You can find a protuberance here, right? This protuberance is called as external occipital protuberance. Uh, right. Uh, Harsh, are you understanding? Are you understanding, Harsh? So, this is external occipital protuberance. Okay, external occipital protuberance. Now, next important thing is that from external, and by the way, what are these guys? These are vertebra, not spinal segments. These are vertebra, C1, C2, C3, and intentionally I have missed some vertebra here to save the space. Okay, so what I'm telling you is from external occipital protuberance. Hanging down, there is a ligament. Okay? From till where this ligament will come? This ligament will come all the way till C6. Okay? From external occipital protuberance, you have got a ligament that is coming all the way till C6. The name of this ligament is nuchal ligament. What is the name of the ligament, guys? This is nuchal ligament. This ligament is called as nuchal ligament. Clear all of you? All of you are clear? Right. Now, when I tell, when I tell uh, trapezius muscle, all of you might have known trapezius muscle is the trapezium shaped muscle that is located on the back here. Right. So, this is a trapezium shaped muscle which is located here. Now, what is this picture over here, guys? For all the freshers, I know the old students know whatever I'm trying to tell you. But for the freshers, I'm telling what is this picture which I've drawn on the right? This is your scapula. Right? This is your scapula. Now, in this scapula, 
you can see many things. What are these things here? You see, this part is called as the spine of the scapula. What is this called? Spine of scapula. Now, above the spine of the scapula, this region is called as supraspinatus. Why I am calling it as supra? Anything above is called supra. Anything below is called as infra. Clear? Anything above is called supra and anything below is called as infra. So, this region is called supraspinatus region. Now, tell me what is this region should be called as? Below the spine. The region that is located below the spine should be called as? Very good. Infraspinatus region. So, this is called as a spine of the scapula. Clear? So, I hope till here you are clear. Right? Now, let us draw one by one. The first muscle which I am going to explain here is the trapezius muscle. The first muscle which we shall be discussing here is the trapezius muscle. Okay? Now, in this trapezius muscle, and remember one thing guys, for FMGE only you have to know origins and insertions. When you come for the next exam, Right, all of you know what is next next exam, right? When you come for the appear for the next exam, in next exam, no one is going to ask you origins and insertions. Okay, right. Now, the first muscle which I told I will discuss is trapezius. Now, from where does trapezius start? All of you listen carefully now. Trapezius originates from the external occipital protuberance. All of you look here. Or else, let me change my color. Yeah. Trapezius originates from external occipital protuberance. And second important thing, it is also originating from C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6 or it is originating from the nuchal ligament. Don't mistake in that it is originating from the nuchal ligament, not the cervical vertebra. Okay, It is originating directly from the nuchal ligament like this. Okay, Now what will happen is that it will start originate from the vertebra. What vertebra from C7, T1, T2, all the thoracic vertebra, you see, it is originating from all the thoracic vertebra like this. And it is originating from all the thoracic vertebra till T12. Uh, Sethi Usman, why we call it as trapezius? Because the shape is in the form of a trapezium. I will show that shape right now here. Okay. So, only uh, one important thing you need to know here is that what is the origin? So, first of all, let us write down the origin. One origin I told you is external occipital protuberance. External occipital protuberance is one origin. Okay. Second important origin is from the nuchal ligament. From the nuchal ligament. This is the second important origin. Right. And third important origin is all the way from C7 then T1 till T12, till thoracic 12 vertebra, this entire muscle originates from here. Till here, all of you understood under Kardama in the from here, till here you understood everything, yes or no? Yeah? Now, if you understood, I am just minimizing the picture and I am telling you where is this muscle exactly located. Right. Now, all of you look here. This muscle all the way is attached to the scapula on the top, right? And this muscle here also on the bottom, it is attached to the scapula. Now the same muscle, the same muscle will be like this and like this in this form. Now tell me what is the shape of this? Yeah, someone asked Sethi Usman, tell me now what is the shape of this? Isn't it trapezium? That is why you call it as trapezius muscle, okay? That is why you call it as trapezius muscle. Now, this entire muscle which is covering the entire scapula is called as your trapezius. But before I teach you the function of trapezius, you should know three important things. What are those three important things? Within this trapezius, there are three different types of fibers. Okay, within this trapezius, how many fibers are there? Three different types of fibers are there. What are these three different types of fibers? Now, one group of fibers are till here. One group of fibers are till here and the other group is like this. Now, all of you look here. You see, one group of fibers are this, which are attaching onto the top of the scapula like this. Yes or no? Right? And the second group of fibers are like this. Okay? And the third group of fibers are like this now. This is the separation line with the black which I am drawing now. 
So these are the third group of fibers like this. Okay. These are the third group of fibers. Now, what are these three fibers? One is on the top. Any fiber which is on the top is called as superior fibers. So let me write it as A, B and C. Now you will tell me guys, what is this A, B and C? A is superior or uh, middle or inferior fibers. Yes. All the freshers. A is very good. A is the superior fibers. Superior fibers. And what is B? B is the middle fibers. Middle fibers of trapezius muscle. And C is the inferior fibers of the trapezius muscle. Inferior fibers of trapezius muscle. Guys, all of you are understanding. Uh, Jainam, Prince Panchal. Rama, I hope you guys are new students. I don't remember your names. Kiran Yadav is old student. Harsh is new. Priyanshu Sagar is old. Sarvin Kaur is new. So all of you are understanding guys whatever I'm telling you. Afnan, Vedant, Vyas. You're understanding right? So there are very good. Very good guys. Very good. So there are three groups of fibers which I told you. Superior, middle and inferior. Now let us see what is the function of trapezius. Okay. What is the function of trapezius? Now, if you want to know the function of trapezius, first of all, look here. Now here, some of the fibers are attached here. Yes or no? Some of the fibers are attached here and some of the fibers are attached to the inferior angle. And by the way, this is called as an inferior angle. This is called as a superior angle of the scapula. Okay. Inferior angle, superior angle. Clear all of you? And this part is called as the which border of scapula? This is called as a medial border of the scapula. Okay. This is called as a medial border. This is called as a lateral border. If you don't know this, I'll teach you. Don't worry about that. But for now, you need to know that superior fibers are attached here. Middle fibers are attached here. Inferior fibers are attached here. Now, you will tell me the function of trapezius. For example, if I'm pulling the superior fibers, when I'm pulling the superior fibers, my scapula moves in this direction. Yes or no? Right? This is the neutral position. Now I'm pulling. When I'm pulling it, my scapula is moving up. So should I call it as elevation of scapula or depression of scapula? I have to call it as elevation of scapula. Next important are fibers that are attached here. Now when I'm pulling these fibers, what is happening? The scapula is moving like this. It means your scapula is moving in this way. Early morning you stretch. Yes or no? This is called retraction of scapula. What is this called? This is called as retraction of scapula. Next, some of the fibers are attached down here. You know? So when you are pulling them, the scapula moves downwards. Now downward movement is called as depression of scapula. Right? So there are three important functions we saw here. What are those three important functions? One is called as elevation of scapula. The middle fibers perform retraction of scapula. The inferior fibers perform the depression of scapula. All of you are clear with this? Yes, till here all of you are clear. If you give me a green signal, then I'll move on. Till here all of you. And after this, I'll show you the real cadaveric images also. Okay. Very good. All of you are clear, right? Very good. So, what I was about to write here is that superior fibers are responsible for the elevation of scapula. Elevation of scapula. Middle fibers are responsible for the retraction of the scapula. Retraction of the scapula. Inferior fibers are responsible for the depression of scapula. Depression of scapula. Okay, so three important things. One is elevation of scapula, retraction of scapula, depression of scapula. Clear? Right. Now, after, after that trapezius muscle which we have discussed, the second muscle in the list, what is that muscle guys? That is latissimus dorsi. Okay, we shall discuss latissimus dorsi now. Now, before I discuss latissimus dorsi, you have to know few important things. What are those few important things? Now, this part which I am showing it to you right now, right, this entire part, this is called as, what, this is called as, yes, very good, very good, very good. 
right so this is called as a sacral crest right and next this blue color thing which i'm drawing here like this this is called as the iliac crest okay the top portion is called as crest always so this one is called as the iliac crest and this portion is called as the sacral crest sacral crest and this entire bone here uh jainam this entire bone here is your pelvic bone okay pelvic bone right now just look at the latissimus dorsi muscle okay from where does latissimus dorsi originate latissimus dorsi starts originating from thoracic six vertebra okay it starts or okay i'll draw it with the green it originates from thoracic six vertebra so from t6 t7 then uh, t9 t10 t12 right and after that we have got lumbar vertebra like l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 and so on right and it is also originating from which part of the bone now tell me yes it is also originating from sacral crest very good originating from the sacral crest it is also originating from the iliac crest okay i hope you understood the origin from t6 till t12 from l1 till l5 then sacral crest then iliac crest i will write these things down don't worry from here it will originate now where it is gonna insert where will this muscle insert so this muscle comes down all the way like this right in this way and this muscle starts inserting in the humerus here we have got a small groove okay this groove here is called as bicipital groove now this muscle starts inserting to the bicipital groove okay sir what is the name of this groove once again repeat please the name of this particular groove is called as bicipital groove bicipital groove okay so it is attaching to the bicipital groove so this is your entire length of the muscle so this is your muscle all the way okay so this muscle which i have drawn just now is your latissimus dorsi so what is the importance of this guys all of you whenever you are lifting heavy weights you know whenever you are lifting heavy weights uh, obviously you will have lower back pain now you are lifting weights with the hands now why the back pain is in the back lower back especially the reason is that when you are lifting the heavy weight along this latissimus dorsi the the pain whatever is there the tension whatever is there that is finally transmitted to the lower back through this latissimus dorsi muscle that is the reason why you have a pain there that is why doctors will tell never lift heavy weights all of a sudden okay so this is latissimus dorsi now let us write down the origins and insertions of this okay latissimus dorsi origins and insertions now when i tell origins what are the origins guys all of you are writing the notes right what can be the origins i told you all the way from t6 till t12 okay then l1 to l5 then we have got what we have got iliac crest and sacral crest right we have got sacral crest we have got iliac crest now after that where is this muscle inserting this muscle is inserting to the bicipital groove of the humerus bicipital groove of humerus very 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 important most of the time these questions are asked okay guys 52 members are in the chat right now all of you are understanding shubhangini parmar you are understanding meganath mondal right chendu iswal are you understanding chendu Amit, you are understanding. Kiran Yadav, Anjum, hope all of you are understanding, right? Can I continue, guys? Right. So the, these are the two muscles which I have discussed. One is your, uh, one is your what? One is your trapezius muscle. Trapezius on mainly my focus is on the new students. New students, you are understanding. The new students. the first class with me are you all understanding so latissimus dorsi docha right second muscle right that is latissimus dorsi now sir can you tell any clinical points whatever i have told right now is just anatomy 
okay now how do you relate anatomy with a clinical point with a real life situation the reason is all of you look here now now here you can find you can find all of you pay, pay attention here all of you pay attention here here exactly if you look here you can very clearly see you can very clearly see a small triangle here all of you yes or no just tell me yes or no can you see a small triangle here where where this uh, trapezius this is a trapezius muscle this is a latissimus dorsi muscle trapezius is overlapping on the latissimus dorsi and you see a small triangle here right now what is the use of this triangle is that guys uh, if you if i if i put the lung over here okay let us say let us say that I am putting the lung. See, this is the lung over here. These are your lungs. Okay. So, when I am putting the lung, the lower part of the lung, whatever you can see here, that can be very nicely heard on auscultation. Okay. When you put the stethoscope and auscultate at this point, where the two muscles are not overlapping, leaving a gap, exactly pe, if you put the stethoscope and listen very clearly, you can listen to the both the lower lobes of the lung. That is why this triangle is called as triangle of auscultation. What is this triangle called? Triangle of auscultation. Okay, auscultation matlab with the stethoscope, whatever you listen, that is called as auscultation. Okay, so that is what is called as triangle of auscultation. Triangle of auscultation. Okay, right. Now, if you look at the borders of triangle of auscultation, let us write down the borders. There are three borders. Triangle has got three borders. Yes or no? Now, tell me what are the borders here? The first important thing. First important thing is that uh, I'm drawing the borders. All of you pay attention now. Right. Now, if you very closely look, see here you have got a border. What is this border, guys? If, can anyone tell me? Prince Punchal, what do you mean by auscultation? Auscultation in the sense when you have any kind of uh, lung infections, uh, right? When you have any kind of, uh, let us say, chest pain and all, the doctors, they put the stethoscope and listen to the sounds, right? That is called as auscultation. Right, now all of you look here. This red line which I have drawn, this is the top surface of latissimus dorsi. Yes or no? Top surface, matlab in anatomy, you should call it as a superior border of latissimus dorsi. And this border is vertical or horizontal? It is horizontal. So what can I write here, guys? What can I write here? I can write that one border is superior horizontal border, superior horizontal border of latissimus dorsi, simply called as lats. Okay. Now, what is the second important thing? What is the second important thing is that if you very closely look at the scapula, right, you see this part of the scapula which you can see here, right, this part of the scapula is called as a medial or lateral, this part of the scapula is called as a medial end of the scapula, okay, what is this medial end, sir, why are you calling it as medial end for the new students I am telling, why are you calling it as medial end, because this side of the scapula is facing the center line, center line kya hai pe? the vertebra, right, it is facing the center line, so it is called as a medial border. So, the second important thing is medial border of scapula. Medial border of scapula. And finally, if you very closely look at the trapezius, see the upper border here it is formed by what is this? You see here this line which I am drawing right now, this is the lower border of trapezium. What is this? Lower border of trapezium or inferior border of trapezium. Okay. So, this is your inferior border of trapezium. Inferior border of trapezium. Right. Now, if someone is asking you what is triangle of auscultation, you will very easily tell. But if they ask you what are the borders of triangle of auscultation, what do you have to tell? First important thing, the borders are, the first border, superior, superior horizontal border of latissimus dorsi. Next, medial border of scapula. Next, inferior border of trapezius muscle. 
these three borders together form a triangle and that triangle is called as triangle of auscultation. Now in triangle of auscultation which lobes of the lung you can very clearly listen the lower lobes of both the lungs. Right. Everything is clear. If you are clear, if you are clear, I will I will show you a very important surgical importance of latismus dorsi here. Okay. Very important surgical importance of latismus dorsi. I'll show it to you. But all of you are clear, yes or no? Jaldi bato. Yes. I am mainly asking about the new students. New students, are you all clear? Are you all understanding? So far, you understood everything. Hello, Med Booster. Hi, how are you? Ashish Lohar. Very good, Ashish. Uh, Sarveen Kaur. Very good. Kiran Yadav. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Chalo, let's continue now. Sir, why latismus doors is important? Very important. Why latismus doors is very important is that See, for example, let us say in the females, mostly we have uh, we come across breast cancers. All of you know that, right? Most in the females, we come across the breast cancer. So let us say, let us say that this is a female, right? And this is a breast over here. Okay. Now, and this is the nipple in the center. Now, all of you know that breast cancers, is, for example, if I divide this breast into four quadrants, I am mainly talking about this quadrant. Now, this quadrant is called as upper lateral quadrant. What is this called? Upper lateral quadrant. Most commonly, the breast cancers are happening here. And what kind of breast cancer you see mostly in the upper lateral quadrant in the females? That is fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma. So, if you are dividing the breast like this, exactly here in the upper lateral quadrant, you have got breast cancers. Chalo, TK. There is a breast cancer, there is a lump here, you, she went near a doctor, let us say she is 42 years old, she went near a doctor, doctor has done mammography, you know? mammography hoga ek aur ek hoga ultrasound, 40 years se pehle, before 40 years you do ultrasound investigation, after 40 years you do mammography, so 42 years matlab mammography kiya hoga, in this mammography they found a breast cancer, so what will they do, if the breast cancer is more and more, if the breast cancer is more and more, if it is aggressive, they will remove the complete breast. So this is what happened in this female here. Yeah, they, go. they have removed the complete right side of the breast. Clear? Abhi left side breast hai, right side breast nahi hai. Right? Now doesn't it look odd? Doesn't it look uneven? Yes or no? So for that, what we basically do is that, now all of you focus. For that, what we basically do is that, we basically cut a small piece of latissimus dorsi. This piece. Okay? Latissimus dorsi is a very big muscle. What do you do? You cut a small piece of latissimus dorsi and use it as a flap. Okay? How do you use it? You use it as a flap. That is why you call the surgery as latissimus dorsi flap or musculocutaneous flapping. What do you call it as? Musculocutaneous flapping or latissimus dorsi flapping. So, if you can see here very clearly, on the right hand side, right here, she got her breast back. Yes or no? But this breast is not having any nipple. Why? Because this is a tissue that is taken from her latissimus dorsi. Got it now? Right? So, this is what, this is what you need to know. And this condition you call it as musculocutaneous flapping. So, if they give such picture and ask, what is this? What is this breast without a nipple? Will you all able to tell that this is uh, musculocutaneous flapping or bypass, uh, sorry, uh, musculocutaneous flapping or latissimus dorsi grafting? Yes? No, 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 no. Uh, Kutia, no, it is not inserting there to the inferior angle of scapula. Only it inserts to the bicipital groove, okay? Right, will you all answer this? Now, look at the next example. Now, in this example, this patient is having some cancer in the cervical region, in the neck region. Yes or no, in the clavicular region here, there is some cancer. This kind of cancer is called as dermatofibrosarcoma. Sir, we should know these names. No. 
not now not too early right you still have time to know all this but this kind of cancer which you can see here this is called as dermato fibrosarcoma chalo whatever it is now can this person right can this person be without any symptoms no there will be symptoms right obviously socially also it will be so awkward to look so what do you need to do you need to remove what doctors have done what doctors have done is that what doctors have done is that they have removed a flap of latissimus dorsi they have removed this tumor agar tumor remove karne ke baad you will see an empty space that latissimus dorsi flap they have placed it here ye dekho they have placed it here we are all of you again here also they have done the flapping so i hope this is completely clear for all of you whatever i have told just now so two clinical importances i have told you so far one is triangle of auscultation another one is uh, latissimus dorsi flapping or muscular cutaneous flapping all of you understood this christopher you understood very good uzair shoab you understood uzair pradyuman singh you understood suresh babu anshul sharma anshul is a old student i think anyways i hope you understood uh, shehar fatima uh, surveen kaur ashish lohar all of you are understanding right chalo so we successfully discussed two muscles yahan pe what are the two muscles one is your trapezius latissimus dorsi and now we will discuss rhomboid muscle and levator scapula muscle theek okay? hai rhomboid and levator scapula muscle now for that i need a small picture over here class ke baad you have to do mcqs also i'll make you to do mcqs theek okay? hai let us see how much you understood First of all, I am drawing the external occipital protuberance. ये देखो ये external occipital protuberance है. Then I am drawing C1, C2, C3, C4. ठीक है? I am leaving some vertebra like this. C7, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. ठीक है? So all these vertebra are there. right now all of you know that vertebra are having transverse process guys in your plus 1 and plus 2 very nicely you studied that this is vertebra this is the arch of the vertebra right and here you have got processes this is called as a transverse process of vertebra and this is called as a spinous process of vertebra all of you know now what i am doing is that i am drawing the transverse process of the vertebra like this transverse process of c1 c2 c3 and c4 okay and let me also you know let me also draw the scapula this is the scapula over here right so this is a scapula which are looking from the back okay this is a scapula which are looking from the back now all of you look here now the first muscle which i'm drawing the first muscle which i'm drawing from where does this muscle originate is this muscle originates from the transverse process originates from the transverse process of c1 not directly from c1 transverse process of c1 transverse process of c1 c2 c3 and c4 and where it is inserting it is inserting on to the top of the scapula here like this top of the scapula like this okay now if it is attaching onto the top of the scapula for example if i am pulling this muscle ye dekho if i am pulling this muscle in this way will the scapula elevate or will the scapula depress obviously the scapula will elevate so this muscle is responsible for the elevation of the scapula right elevation in latin you call it as levation okay again i am repeating elevation in latin you call it as levation that is why this muscle is named as levator levator levation of what scapula scapulae levator scapulae so if someone asks you what is the origin uh christopher is asking sir how to prevent the tissue from decaying or uh, to prevent that we do very good um what do you call it as we do very good wound washing okay very good dressing you have to do time to time actually after this surgery what you do is that you put a drain pipe okay you put a drain pipe outside so that if any pus is there that will be collected back you know so all these things you do and you 
take care of the wound. Overall, I'm telling you, you take care of the wound. So this muscle is called as levator scapula. If someone asking the origins and insertions, origin will be transverse process of C1, C2, C3, C4 and insertion to the upper border of the scapula. Right? Chalo. Uske baad, now the next two muscles. Now all of you look here. The next two muscles directly originate from the vertebra. So they are directly originating from the vertebra from C7. Okay. They are originating from the C7 like this and inserting to the scapula and also T1. C7 and T1. Okay. Next. There are another group here originating from T2, T3, T4 and T5. And again they are also inserting like this. Sir, what is the difference between these two? The only difference is that the upper one is originating from C7, T1. The lower one is originating from T2, T3, T4 and T5. And the other difference is that the upper one is small, upper one is small compared to the lower one. The lower one is large. And what is the shape? Their shape is in this way. What is the shape of this? This is called as a rhomboid shape. Okay. So these muscles are called as rhomboid muscles. Ek chota hai to rhomboid minor ho gaya. Ek bada hai aur rhomboid major ho gaya. Right. So this muscle over here is rhomboid minor. Aur ye ho gaya aapka rhomboid major. Rhomboid major. Right. So if I ask you, sir, what is the function of these muscles? See, these muscles are attached exactly opposite to the scapula, right? Exactly here they are attached. For example, if I'm pulling this, what will happen? My scapula is retracting, not depressing, retracting. Okay. So rhomboid minor and major, they perform a function together that is called as retraction of scapula. Retraction of scapula. So, all of you understood here? Everyone, yes or no? Eki nai. Right? We discussed four important muscles. Trapezius we have discussed. Latissimus dorsi we have discussed. Levator scapula we have discussed. Rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. So, now you know the origins and insertions of these muscles. Along with that, you also know the actions of these muscles. So all of you are clear guys, muscles of the back topic is done. Now I'll show you the questions. I'll show you the cadaveric images also, but uh, just give me a green signal whether you understood or not. Uzair Soheb understood, Priyanshu Sagar, very good, Prince, very good, very good, very good and very good. So happy that you are all understanding. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I am the only one who is going to come there and teach. And along, obviously for my subjects, I will come. For the other subjects, there are other faculties also who will come and teach. Okay. And yeah. Now, now guys, let us do a small test. Okay. What is this test? Abhitak, from where you want to, till how much you understood to know that, we shall just do one small test. Okay. I will point out, thank you so much, Aladita. Thank you so much. Uh, I will point out a muscle. You will tell me uh, what is the name of this muzzle. This is a cadaveric image. This is a cadaveric image. Now, in this cadaveric image, what I will do is, I will point out a muzzle. Okay? See, this is on the back. Very clearly, you can see. Here, I am pointing out this muzzle like this. Tell me, what is this muzzle? Okay, let me put an other clear image. Other clear image. Here they go. From here, from here, there is a muzzle that is coming like this and coming all the way like this. What is the name of this muzzle? Anyone? Allah Datta will answer me. What is the name of this muzzle? And Anjum Nas, uh, Sethi Usman also will answer. Ashish Lohar will answer. Yeah. What is the name of this muzzle? Very good. Very good, Prince. Very good. So the name, the name of this muzzle is your trapezius, trapezius muzzle. If you can clearly see, I told you trapezius will originate from nuchal ligament, hai na? Ye dekho. All of you, all of you focus at this. 
कैन यू सी दिस व्हाइट कलर बैंड विच इज हैंगिंग डाउन ये देखो व्हाइट कलर बैंड विच इज कमिंग डाउन दिस व्हाइट कलर बैंड इज नथिंग बट कॉल्ड एज योर न्यूकल लिगमेंट न्यूकल लिगमेंट ठीक है राइट आफ्टर दिस वेर इज लैटिसमस डॉर्सिस सर लैटिसमस डॉर्सी इज हियर ऑल ऑफ यू लुक हियर सो ये हो गया ट्रिपीजियस ये हो गया ट्रिपीजियस एंड वेर इज योर लैटिसमस डॉर्सी ऑल ऑफ यू लुक हियर This muscle is your latissimus dorsi. You see, this entire muscle here is your latissimus dorsi. If you can very clearly see here, again I'm rubbing it out. Just look at this because in the exam, in the next exam or in the FMG exam, they have this habit of giving image-based questions, है ना? ये देखो, ये latissimus dorsi है. See this entire muscle all the way like this is your latissimus dorsi. But मैंने एक चीज बोला था आपको कि latissimus dorsi and trapezius ये दोनों overlap होने के बाद after the overlapping there you see a triangular space that is called as triangle of auscultation है ना ये देखो where is this triangle of auscultation if you can clearly see here can you clearly see this triangle over here I'm rubbing it out फिर से देखो All of you, can you see this triangle over here like this? This triangle which you can see here, which I which I will highlight now, is called as triangle of auscultation. ये देखो ये yellow color shaded area जो है ना ये है triangle of auscultation. Yeah. So previously once they have asked, previously once they have asked a question. Pointing a triangle of auscultation and they ask, "What is this?" Okay, you have to tell that it is triangle of auscultation. Okay, so you understood till here, right? Everyone understood the muscles of the back. I will teach you the nerve supply in a minute, but before that, ये बताओ सब कुछ समझ में आ गया ना? Right. Now you will answer me these questions. Okay, these were the questions which are repeated previously. Let us see. Whether you were able to answer the FMG questions or no? Triangle of auscultation is associated with all of the following except who will tell me the answer very fastly. First come first basis. Whoever will tell is the hero of the day today. Okay. A B C D E options. What is the option here? Who will comment first? Such the hello. Yes, very good, very good, very good, very good. Kaha, 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 kaha. <laughs> Jainam is right. Jainam, Jainam told me the right answer. Jainam is telling that Terry is major, right? Actually, guys, a rhomboid major also. Forms a part of triangle of auscultation. Okay, sir, but you did not tell us why. I did not tell you is that where is rhomboid? Where is rhomboid muscle? Trapezius muscle को निकालने के बाद after removing the trapezius muscle inside you will find rhomboid muscle, है ना? But ये teres major जो है ये completely out of the box है. Okay, so the answer will be teres major. चलो अभी ये बताओ which of the following is not the border of triangle of auscultation? Which is not the border of triangle of auscultation? बताओ कमॉन बी फास्ट रूपानंद थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेरी गुड सेत उस्मान आंसर्ड फर्स्ट सेत उस्मान इज टेलिंग सेरेट इज एंटीरियर परफेक्ट परफेक्ट सेत उस्मान वेरी गुड चलो लेट अस डिस्कस द नर्व सप्लाई नाउ है ना नर्व सप्लाई सो व्हाट इज द नर्व सप्लाई व्हिच यू कैन सी हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस राइट डाउन द मसल्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज द ट्रेपीजियस मसल Another one is called as the latissimus dorsi muscle. Another one is called as the rhomboid major muscle. Another one is called as the rhomboid minor muscle. And next we have got the levator scapulae. Levator scapulae. So these are the muscles which we have. You know, these are the muscles which we have. Sir, how to remember this? Only one thing you need to remember here is remember the mnemonic TAN. T A N. TAN. 
okay t a n tan now what is t standing for t standing for trapezius what is a standing for a stands for accessory nerve a stands for accessory nerve okay now latissimus dorsi what is the nerve what is the nerve of latissimus dorsi first of all tell me where is latissimus dorsi located in the thoracic region right thoracic region matlab yahan pe nahi piche in the thoracic region in the thoracic region on the this is ventral feature dorsal ventral or dorsal side dorsal side so combine to the two words thoraco dorsal nerve so the nerve is thoraco dorsal nerve okay now sir then where is a uh, rhomboid major and minor both of them are located yes what is the nerve here first of all you tell me where is rhomboid major and minor attached to rhomboid major and minor are attached to the scapula theek hai where on the back side or on the front side they are attached onto the back of the scapula back is always dorsal so dorsal dorsal attached to what scapula scapular nerve dorsal scapular nerve sir aise to levator scapula bhi attached to the dorsal side on the scapula only yes even that is also called as dorsal scapular nerve dorsal scapular nerve so this is the nerve innervation which you need to know nerve innervations which you need okay now i need all of you to tell me you understood or no before i move on to the next topic the topic here is done okay the topic here is done in the next topic i am going to teach you how to look at an mri scan how to study an mri scan also okay but you understood or no first of all let me know batao jaldi all of you all of you understood very good very good and guys after this class we shall do this clinical mcqs which were asked in the exams okay so these are the mris which i will teach you now right now the next important thing the next important thing is that we just discuss the muscles of the back okay we discuss the muscles of the back and in the list which i have given you after the muscles of the back what is the next important thing i told i will discuss with you yes if i have to show it to you where if i have to show it to you here right uh muscles of the back is done and now we shall discuss the muscles the muscles of the scapula okay and we shall close the session theek okay? hai muscles of the scapula theek okay? hai what are the muscles of the scapula you have got what are the muscles of the scapula you have got right so let us discuss now the muscles of the scapula muscles of scapula are also very easy guys nothing to worry about that theek okay? hai muscles of scapula you remember one mnemonic that is d sits theek okay? hai d sits now what is d d stands for a muscle that is located here in the scapula region that is your deltoid muscle okay so all of you know what is deltoid muscle right so d stands for deltoid muscle okay now after this are uh, two and three what are these two and three muscles now all of you look at this picture over here in this muscles of scapula in this picture over here i already told you this region is called supra scapular region this region is called infra scapular region sir iska importance kya hai importance yahi hai ki on this region there is a muscle that is attached here also there is a muscle that is attached the muscle that is attached here on the top is called supra scapular muscle The muscle that is attached here is called as infra scapular muscle. Why? Because it is below the spine. It is above the spine. So two muscles you understood: supra scapular muscle and infra scapular muscle, right? But while writing in the textbooks, it is given as supra spinatus muscle, infra spinatus. Because it is spine ke upper hai muscle, or it is spine ke niche hai muscle, hai na? Supra spinatus and infra spinatus muscle. so you have got supra 
spinate as muscle and you have also got infra spinate as muscle okay after that after this supraspinatus infraspinatus next we have got t and s what is this t and s the fourth important thing is teres muscle i will tell you about that don't worry one is teres major guys wherever in anatomy there is any name called as major pakka minor bhi rahega wahan pe okay whenever you see major there should there will also be minor so teres major ke sath sath there will also be teres minor okay fifth important thing is subscapularis subscapularis muscle fifth important thing is subscapularis muscle now all of you pay attention to whatever i am teaching you first of all where is deltoid muscle located all of you know deltoid muscle is located here in the shoulder region yes or no triangular shaped muscle that is your deltoid muscle right now after this let us discuss about the remaining muscles see what is this picture which i'm drawing right now this is a picture of your scapula and this is a spine like this okay and here you have got your clavicle this is your clavicle and uh, here you have got your humerus like this okay this is your humerus and remain important thing is that on the humerus you have got a small bony projection like this this bony projection is called as deltoid tuberosity what is this bony projection called deltoid tuberosity now from where does this uh, deltoid muscle originate deltoid muscle is originating from the clavicle actually i'm not going in detail that is from the lateral end of the clavicle and all but you will be confused if i go that detail just you know what is this muscle when i'll come there i will teach you in detail okay it is attached from the clavicle it is also coming from what is this spine of the scapula hai na this is your spine of the scapula acromion process spine of the scapula acromion process and all the way this muscle is coming down and attaching to your what deltoid tuberosity so this muscle which you can see here is called as your deltoid muscle theek okay? hai sir once deltoid muscle is done hai na baki kahan pe hai baki yahan pe hai all of you look here now this is your uh, spine of the scapula and here you have got your humerus your humerus okay now all of you pay attention baki what are the muscles now before you have to un before you have to understand this one very important thing i have to explain you here what is this important thing guys this bone which you are seeing right now is your humerus bone okay in this humerus bone all of you know one thing already that in the center we have got a small groove and this groove is called as bicipital groove okay on the right and on the left of the bicipital groove which means ye dekho this side this is called as a medial end why am i calling it as a medial end wherever the head is looking that is called as a medial end okay the opposite will be definitely called as a lateral end ye dekho this is called as a lateral end okay this is called as a medial end this is called as a lateral end okay now all of you just look at the bone which i'm going to explain you here now in this cadaveric uh, bone which you can see here this is the head of the humerus this is the head of the humerus okay and uh, down here if this is looking this way if this is looking this way here you have got the bicipital groove let us say that you have got the bicipital groove on this side okay now on either sides of the bicipital groove you have got one is called as the medial lip another one is called as a lateral lip right so right now all of you look here this groove which you can see here right so this groove over here which you can see is called as a bicipital groove now in this bicipital groove you have got two lips one is lateral lip one is medial lip center is called bicipital groove theek hai ek hai lateral lip ek hai medial lip aur center mein jo hai that is bicipital Group. now what muscle is attached to lateral lip what muscle is attached to medial lip and what muscle is attached to the bicipital group 
ऑल ऑफ यू नो बाइसिपिटल ग्रू के अंदर कौन सा मसल इंसर्ट होगा जस्ट नो वाई टोल यू लैटिसमस डॉर्सी है ना सो द रिमेनिंग मसल्स जस्ट रिमेंबर लाइक दिस एम ई टी एम ई टी मतलब क्या मेट है ना और दूसरा थिंग भी देर आर टू मेजर मजल्स इन अवर बॉडी वन इज कॉल्ड एज टेरिस मेजर अनदर वन इज कॉल्ड एज पेक्टोरलिस मेजर ठीक है अपर लिम में दो मेजर मजल्स है टेरिस मेजर पेक्टोरलिस मेजर ना वेन आई टेल एम ई एम ई मतलब मीडियल लिप ये देखो ये मीडियल लिप के पास जो मजिल अटैच हो रहा है ना द मजिल दैट इज अटैच द मीडियल लिप इज टी व्हाट इज दिस टी टी स्टैंड्स फॉर टेरिस मेजर सो दिस मजिल शुड बी कॉल्ड इट एज टेरिस मेजर ओके तो व्हाट इज द मजिल अटैच टू लैटरल लिप व्हाट इज द मजिल व्हिच इज लेफ्ट आउट इज अटैच टू द लैटरल लिप जो मजिल बच गया व्हाट इज दिस पेक्टोरलिस मेजर सो हियर देयर इज पेक्टोरलिस मेजर दिस क्वेश्चन गाइस almost every year they asked okay what is this question is that which muscle is attached to the bicipital groove that is your latissimus dorsi which muscle is attached to the medial lip that is your teres major which muscle is attached to the lateral lip that is your pectoralis major theek hai ye teen cheeze yaad rakho please theek hai now after that you see this uh, thing here this part over here is called as greater tubercle okay this part is called as greater tubercle and this part is called as lesser tubercle greater tubercle lesser tubercle so if i have to show it to you here so how will i show that thing to you see this part is called as greater tubercle and this part over here is called as lesser tubercle greater tubercle and lesser tubercle so this is your greater Okay. Right. So, if you look here, I told you there are muscles like supraspinatus, infraspinatus. If you remember, yes or no? Right. Where is supraspinatus originating from? Supraspinatus is originating above the spine of the scapula. It means here. So, supraspinatus is originating above the spine of the scapula, like this. And where it is inserting? It is inserting to the greater tubercle. Where is it inserting? Greater tubercle. And what is the muscle that is coming from the bottom here? Everyone, fun mode. Christopher, Mansuri, Uzair, tell me. Devanshi, Kathi, Jainam, all of you, tell me. What is the muscle that is originating from the lower part of the spine? Very good. This is called as your infraspinatus. And where is this infraspinatus attached? Infraspinatus is also attached to the greater tubercle. Okay. After supraspinatus, infraspinatus. After supra and infra, we have got another muscle that is called as teres minor. Okay. Now all of you look. This is the teres minor that is also going and inserting to the greater tubercle. Teres minor going and inserting to greater tubercle. So teres major, I told you teres major will go and insert to the lateral lip of bicipital groove. Yeah, देखो. Uh, sorry, the medial lip of the bicipital groove. Yeah, it will go and attach to the medial lip of the bicipital groove. All of you are clear, guys. Everyone is clear, right? So we just discussed that. supraspinatus infraspinatus infraspinatus we have discussed teres minor we have discussed subscapularis so just now i told you guys that supraspinatus infraspinatus and teres minor all of them they are inserting to greater tubercle greater tubercle sir so then for lesser tubercle which muscle is attached subscapularis muscle will attach to lesser tubercle attached to lesser tubercle okay now sir what are these four muscles these four muscles are s i t s what are these s i t s sits s i t s and these muscles are called as rotator cuff muscles rotator cuff muscles okay or you can also call it as musculocutaneous 
musculocutaneous cuff rotator cuff or musculocutaneous cuff so exactly if i am putting exactly if i am putting my hand over here the my entire hand is occupying a space of rotator cuff muscles like this okay now out of all these why rotator cuff muscles are very important i will tell you but by the way out of all rotator cuff muscles four rotator cuff muscles and out of all which is on the top the rotator cuff muscle which is on the top batao the muscle which is on the complete top is your supraspinatus so anything which is on the top anything which is superficial is most commonly injured yes or no that is a muscle which is most commonly injured so the muscle that is passing like this on the top right now which i'm showing it to you with my finger here this is called as your supraspinatus so supraspinatus muscle is the most commonly injured muscle this is a very very important question most common injured muscle is supraspinatus okay supraspinatus if someone is asking you sir what is the function of supraspinatus what will you tell guys what is the function of the supraspinatus all of you and all of you look here for example if i am this is a supraspinatus muscle holding here to the greater tubercle if i am contracting this muscle what is happening my arm my entire upper limb is raising like this right now is my entire upper limb raising in this way like this no only raising to certain extent ye dekho when i am contracting like this only my upper limb is raising to certain extent certain extent matlab kaha yahan se yahan angle kitna hoga 0 to 15 degrees okay so supraspinatus muscle is responsible for raising your arm which is also called as abduction abduction complete abduction nahi incomplete or initial abduction initial abduction what is the angle 0 to 15 degrees hai na 0 to 15 degrees this is the important thing sir is there any other function other than this yes because of that supraspinatus muscle i can move my arm laterally ye dekho ye medial rotation hai ye lateral rotation hai see this is medial rotation this is lateral rotation right so if i am able to move my arm laterally it is because of the supraspinatus muscle also so what is the thing lateral rotation lateral rotation of the arm right lateral rotation of the arm so then what is a muscle that performs medial rotation the muscle that performs medial rotation is subscapular muscle this performs medial rotation theek okay? hai all of you will understand right all of you have understood right all of you understood till here let me tell you guys the important things later on but till here all of you understood the things Aga, you know why i have discussed these rotator cuff muscles because these rotator cuff muscles whenever you are doing over activity of your hand over activity kab karoge when you are bowling right or you are playing sports where the hand is raising above your head like bowling let us say javelin throw right or let us say uh, the ball whatever is there right so whatever it is any sport involving overhead region right overhead sports they all will lead to damage to these four muscles so damage to these four muscles is called as rotator cuff injury this is the most common injury which you come across in the orthopedic clinic okay rotator cuff injury bolte hai isko out of all these rotator cuff muscles most common rot injured rotator cuff muscle is supraspinatus theek hai so yahan tak all of you understood guys the new students i'm mainly asking about the new students you are understanding बताओ है कि नहीं यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग गाइस या वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड नाउ नाउ लेट अस लेट अस लुक एट दिस पिक्चर है ना ये कुछ नया पिक्चर नहीं है द सेम पिक्चर ओनली नाउ इन दिस पिक्चर यू विल टेल मी व्हाट आर द मसल्स ये देखो ये स्कैपुला है दिस इज स्कैपुला ओके नाउ फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द स्कैपुला अटैच्ड टू ग्रेटर ट्यूबरोसिटी ये देखो दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग व्हिच आई एम पुटिंग एन एरो हियर दिस इज योर ग्रेटर ट्यूबरकल सी ए मसल इज अटैचिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप इट इज गोइंग एंड अटैचिंग टू द स्कैपुला हियर फ्रॉम द टॉप इज उजायर शो है डेल्टॉइड मसल इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड अंडर रोटेटर कफ ठीक है 
Afnan, yes, first class, understanding first class is only terrible, right? Out of every 100 students, only 5 or 6 students will understand the first class. That too, I have directly started the muzzles here, right? But still, if you are understanding, if you, even if you don't remember the names, nothing is going to happen. You have got 5 years, you know, 4 to 5 years of MBBS, very nicely, uh, you will read all these names, nothing to worry about that. Understanding is important, okay? If you understood, Baki me dek lunga wahan jab aunga, hai na? Right. So this muzzle over here is your supra spinatus muzzle. Supra spinatus muzzle. Okay. And this muzzle over here is called as your deltoid muzzle. This muzzle over here is called as your deltoid muzzle. Now what I am telling you, look here very carefully. Kabi kabi. Sometimes, hai na? When you are not doing any kind of activity. When you are lazy enough, when you are not moving your hand also, you know, completely zero activity. If the remote is there, if you are asking someone to get that remote, it means you are not at all doing any kind of shoulder activity. In that conditions, what can happen is that very important thing will happen in your body. What is that? You see, there are calcium deposits that will happen here. Calcium gets deposited within the muscles like this. Which muscle? Supraspinatus. Supraspinatus kyu? Kyuki wohi most commonly injured hai na? See, calcium gets deposited over here. When calcium gets deposited, do you think it would be very easy for you to move the muscle? No, you will have a very severe pain here. Yes or no? So, this calcium deposited muscle is called as calcified supraspinatus. Calcified supraspinatus. So, this is one very important clinical point I want you to know. I want you to know at any cost. So, calcified supraspinatus. Okay. So, when such patient is coming to me, I will do all the tests. Hai na? Batao kaun sa test karunga? I will tell the patient to raise his hand to 15 degrees, initial abduction. I will tell the patient to laterally rotate his arm. You know, I will tell the patient to medially rotate his arm. It means what muscles I am checking. I am checking supraspinatus muscle. I am checking subscapular muscle. You know? So, I check these muscles. So, all the muscle functions are fine. But patient is not able to lift the hand. Why? Because here is calcium deposit. Hua. So, what I will tell the patient. Let's do an MRI scan. You know? We will do an MRI. Uh, before MRI, we will do an X-ray. Let us see what is fracture. Hai kya, you know? Maybe there might be some fracture. X-ray ka report aya. X-ray report is absolutely fine. You know? Now I will tell the patient, let us do an MRI. In the MRI, in the MRI, what you do? How do you look at the uh, calcium? Calcium on the MRI looks white. Because bones also, they look white. All of you know on an X-ray. So even on the MRI, the calcium looks white. Okay, you would see a hyper intense lesion bolte isko, but not white. You call these lesions as hyper intense lesion. So, just look at this MRI scans here. Look at the first MRI scan. This first MRI scan, do you find, in this first MRI scan, see, this bone which I am drawing is your humerus bone. Very clear, right? And this entire muscle which is present here, you see, this muzzle is your supraspinatus muzzle, right? Now, is there any bright white color thing which is located here? No. Matlab, ye kya hai? Ye normal MRI scan hai. Okay? Now, compare this MRI scan with this MRI scan. Again, this is your humerus. You know? See, this entirely is your muzzle. But can you see bright white lesions here? Everywhere? Yes or no? So, what, is our, what are these bright white lesions? These are nothing but calcified supraspinatus muscle. Calcified supraspinatus muscle and this condition you call it as calcified supraspinatus tendinitis. All the first years were about to enter. All of you understood this? All of you understood? All of you understood that? Yes or no? First years, first years, Kiran Yadav, not, I want only new students to answer. Very good, Jainam, very good, very good. 
ठीक है वी डिस्कस नर्व सप्लाई प्रीवियसली और यहां पे भी डिस्कस करेंगे नर्व सप्लाई है ना फॉर नर्व सप्लाई अगेन सुपरा स्पाइनेटस इंफ्रा स्पाइनेटस टेरिस माइनर टेरिस मेजर एंड सब स्कैपलरिस राइट सो सुपरा स्पाइनेटस इंफ्रा स्पाइनेटस टेरिस माइनर टेरिस मेजर एंड सब स्कैपलरिस व्हाट इज अ नर्व व्हाट इज अ नर्व ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेंबर बाय निमोनिक एस ए एल यू है ना नो बैड वर्ड्स इट्स बी इन पीस एस ए एल यू इज फाइन ठीक है नाउ व्हाट डज एस स्टैंड्स फॉर एस स्टैंड्स फॉर सुपरा स्पाइनेटस सुपरा स्पाइनेटस मतलब स्कैपुला के ऊपर स्पाइन के ऊपर है ना सो द नर्व इज आल्सो सुपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व सुपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व ओके इंफ्रा स्पाइनेटस इंफ्रा स्पाइनेटस इन द सेंस अगेन द सेम सुपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व ओके नेक्स्ट ए ए स्टैंड्स फॉर व्हाट एक्सिलरी नर्व a stands for axillary nerve and next l l stands for lower subscapular nerve lower subscapular nerve when i tell lower subscapular nerve opposite kya hoga upper subscapular nerve right so here we have got upper subscapular plus lower dono upper subscapular plus lower dono both of them will insert here guys when when i ask you what are the rotator cuff muscles don't confuse teres minor with teres major both sir students they make a mistake instead of putting teres minor they put teres major teres major is not a part of rotator cuff only supraspinatus infraspinatus teres minor and subscapularis four muscles ye dekho yahan pe jo likha hai na four muscles these are the four muscles which are rotator cuff muscles baki sab they are not rotator cuff muscles right are you ready to do the questions now just three questions are there we will finish up the session batao jaldi are you ready to do the questions very good so let us do this questions now okay now all of you look at this question carefully this is a clinical question 53 year old man presents to the clinic with a 6 month history of shoulder pain matlab 6 mahine se he is having shoulder pain this is especially bothersome at night okay uh, over javeria jabbar all the students here are from mbbs first year and we are right now teaching regarding the muscles of the back as well as the scapular muscles okay so over over the weekend he strained his shoulder during a pick up basketball game and reports of acute exacerbation of his pain symptoms what he is telling is that 6 mahine se he is having severe shoulder pain okay but on the weekend by playing basketball he strained his shoulder okay on exam the pain to palpation below the acromion process below the acromion process you suspect He has a torn supraspinatus. ये देखो, you are suspecting, है ना? You are a doctor. You are suspecting what? That maybe the patient is having a tear in his supraspinatus muscle. क्यों? क्योंकि मैंने बोला था, the most commonly injured muscle is supraspinatus. So you suspect. If correct, अगर सही है, then which of these functional maneuvers would you expect be deficient? If supraspinatus is the only muscle which has been torn off, then which function will not happen? He is asking. बताओ वॉट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ सुपर स्पाइनेटस जेम्स जिम वेरी गुड जेम्स अंशुल एवरी वन कमॉन शोल्डर अबडक्शन जीरो टू फिफ्टीन फाइव नो नॉट फाइव नॉट फाइव What did I tell about supraspinatus? You forgot, guys. I told supraspinatus. ये देखो supraspinatus muscle abduction, initial abduction zero to fifteen degrees. 
है ना जीरो टू फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज इन द लाइव आई कैन नॉट बीट यू गाइज वेन आई कम देर दट टाइम इफ यू डोंट आंसर थिंग्स विल बी डिफरेंट ओके चलो इनिशियल इनिशियल abduction right so initial abduction initiation of the abduction so option 3 very good option 3 theek hai right now tell me infraspinatus is inserted to batao jaldi sajda sajda tell me infraspinatus is attached to saumya colati saumya colati jainam uzair batao infraspinatus is attached to very very good very good very good infraspinatus is attached to supraspinatus infraspinatus both of them are attached to greater tuberosity of the humerus very good which of the following muscles do not form which of the following muscles does not form part of rotator cuff which are not a part of rotator cuff is asking batao jaldi which are not a part of rotator cuff here which are not a part of rotator cuff very good teres major is not a part of rotator cuff baki sab they are the parts of the rotator cuff muscles right so all of you all of you understood guys all of you all the 66 members who are in the live right now all of you understood whatever i have told you right so this is how this is how you study guys this is how you study so when i come there right maximum i won't use any kind of ppt mostly i will draw the pictures and i will teach you so this is how you can very easily grasp it and uh, along along with me if you even write down the notes also hai na that will be much more beneficial for you right so what i believe is single picture speaks a thousand words so only i draw the pictures and i'll explain you so that it would be really useful for you ठीक है सो आई होप आई होप राइट नन ऑफ यू आर डिप्रेस आफ्टर दिस सेशन है ना आई होप नन ऑफ यू आर डिप्रेस आफ्टर दिस सेशन यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट एवर आई हैव टॉट यू सो इफ यू हैव एनी अदर डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस सेशन और एनी थिंग यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी कॉन्टैक्ट मतलब सीधा कॉल नहीं करना है ना यू जस्ट मैसेज मी सो दिस इज माई नंबर right so this is the number here right uh mehul wajani for biochemistry we have got a separate faculty so dr pooja johri so she will be teaching you uh, biochemistry okay biochemistry when the sessions will start so she will take care of that biochemistry right chalo so this is all uh, for this session guys i hope all of you understood whatever i have told you and again i am telling you studying is very easy revision is very important so whenever you are studying you make sure that you revise and how do you revise if for example today you study today you have to revise and on the third day you have to revise and on the fifth day you have to revise and on the seventh day which means sunday you have to revise so this is called as spaced repetition you have to give space in between the revision so that very easily things going to lodge within your brain believe me okay so thank you so much take care and love you all